All right, y'all, so tonight is July 13th, 2023. It's crazy. Literally a year ago on this day, we had some crazy thunderstorm go through here. And well, looks like it's happening again this evening with a brand new storm. So yeah, we're waiting for some lightning, thunder. We have a special weather statement up and a flash flood advisory too for this thunderstorm. So far today, we've gotten about 8 tenths of an inch of rain and apparently there could be more. This storm has been on the radar for the last hour or so. That was a crazy lightning strike. And it's been slowly moving this way for at least last hour, right over the New York state border. It is right now. It looks like it's about a bit crazy, so yeah, let's see. All right, so lightning's coming from over there, that side, if you're wondering. So yeah, let's do this. So I'll speed up this footage if Lightning doesn't happen for a while, but it's all coming from this direction. So if I don't speed it up, there'll be no caption. But if it does end up speeding up, there will be a caption. <laughs> well, no speeding up, it looks like. For a 20 second clip, I'm actually kind of impressed. Not gonna lie. Thank you, that's pretty cool, man. But well, at the same time, yeah, it's okay. I've seen much worse lightning strikes, especially in smaller storms like this one. Thunder knocking on that kind of sounds like fireworks, but you know, we've been having a lot of those fireworks shows recently. They start in like late June and end like, and they don't stop until like August. Cause you know, people are gonna light out fireworks cause you know, they're gonna do what they're gonna do. And whenever they do that, sounds like thunder. So sometimes they feel like there's a thunderstorm and when it's cloudy out, yeah, there's a thunderstorm. Happening just about every night here, there's a flash from that direction. That was different. Like, yo, that's kind of cool, not gonna lie. So, yeah, I am hoping that this is not gonna be like yesterday's storm. Like, yesterday's storm, we literally got like two inches of rain in such a short period of time. And a week ago now, a couple weeks ago, we had another similar storm like that. It's been crazy here recently. Like, actually, we've gotten so much rain here. Like, it's starting to overflow a little bit, but like, not that bad. We could definitely use some more rain. Like, we're not really in a drought, but. We could be if it doesn't rain for a little while. Like if it continues, like if this is all it gets this summer, then this is all it gets. But if there's like a hurricane that comes up here, best believe I'm gonna be filming that thing. So yeah, I mean like a hurricane would be all that cool stuff, but like at the same time, I'd like to be outside in something I can actually chase rather than something that's completely unsurvivable without extreme protective gear. I just wanna go outside in a t-shirt and shorts and go out there and film something. I don't really wanna be out there and. 20 layers of protective gear when it's 95 degrees out. All right, so some of those footage that you saw there was all lightning. I think I, I think maybe filmed like five or six. I don't know how smooth it came up because it was only 11 second footage, but it was still pretty cool. One of the cool highlights of that clip was the first lightning strike you might have saw looked similar to that one and actually happened similar to that one. I've not really heard thunder and lightning at the same time. Like, yeah, I've heard it really close together, but not thunder from a previous bolt combined with another, you know, bolt at the same time. That's very rare you hear those together. The only time, the only other time was like August 22nd, 2022. Yes, I remember the date in specific because infamy you know struck one of the trees out nearby the barn and no internet for a day and a half kind of sad not gonna lie so yeah just remember say screw off lightning whenever you don't want it striking your internet because if you're a youtuber like me that will really can't film on mobile data then uh yeah pray that your trees don't get struck by lightning because even if you can see there's no internet lines over there, I don't know if you could really tell, there's really no internet lines that are close enough to that point. So, really, got to make sure you're far away. Even then, if I say struck away from the internet lines, which are on the streets, it's crazy. All right, bro, fireworks now? Is that what the thunder's now saying? I'm not going to light up fireworks. And I, thought the, I thought the glare on the truck over there was actually lightning. I was like, yo, that was sick. But, you know, it was just glare from a uh, house light reflecting onto the truck, unfortunately. Rest in peace. Yeah. A lot of thunder. Over here we get long-lived thunder. 
And yeah, I think I filmed, I don't know, maybe I filmed one storm chasing long video so far this summer and also a short that I left that somehow encased 5,000 people's attention for whatever reason. It was weird. Whoa, that was sick ass, dude. I think that was cool. Love when that happens. Like, yo, whoa, that's cool. So lightning's coming from this direction and this direction, which also happens to be west and east. That's the direction that, it's, uh, that it is. So yeah, north is that way, south is that way. Oh, so it looks like we have better, the strikes are a little less consistent to the yeah, west. The strikes are better, but you know, less underwhelming, more underwhelming this direction. Lightning is more overwhelming, but less consistent in that direction. So that's how it's going. Nothing in the middle so far, but thunder is starting to get louder. The rain on the other hand, uh, yeah, it's been raining like this for like 40 minutes. I'll check what it looks like when we're inside in a minute. So that was another bolt from the west. It's pretty cool, you know, but like at the same time, it's not really cool either. I'd rather have a clear night, but then again, I don't do garden tours at two o'clock in the morning again anymore so it doesn't really hurt anyone so yeah all right so another strike that direction but i'm also monitoring both directions so it's better if i stand this direction where i can see both so that was the lightning strike from that area around the center ish but i'll be watching both directions for this one so yeah we got to make sure that both directions are getting the attention they deserve you know the attention that 26 people will be able to see a bunch of lightning strike would love to see 1,000 views but then again cool lightning strike doesn't know that it's um being uploaded on the internet so yeah but i bet you cool lightning strike would be pretty cool with that though it would love to be seen by more than 26 people obviously but cool lightning strike would not really care at the same time because it's something that lasts for like under a second but yeah it's pretty cool when this happens like i kind of like these thunderstorms but if it's snowing and thunderstorming, then there's a big issue. I don't know if you know what thunder snow is. It's not only a New England exclusive, but it's something that happens over here consistently. Thunder snows when it thunders, when it's snowing out. And if you don't know, that's pretty bad. Especially if you're driving. Because you know what happens. Because then all hell breaks loose on the streets and that's how you get pileups in the winter. Oh, I thought it was day for a second, bro. That's how crazy lightning can be. Like, if you ask lightning to, like, make it day for 1.2 seconds, it'll say, yeah, sure, here you go. And there it is. It's day for 0.3 seconds on that direction. But, yeah, lightning's actually pretty far away because at this point it's taking a while in between lightning strikes and thunder. But well, some of them have been closer than others. Like, that one was, I believe that was 11 seconds, so 110 miles is what they say every 10 Every like 10 seconds is 100 miles. That was another one. Storm is starting to get underwhelming at this point. That was gonna be all the heavy rain that you could have ever possibly dreamed of. But uh, yeah, we might have gotten like, I don't know, five hundredths of an inch of rain in the last 30 minutes I've been recording. I'm gonna have to chop this all up in the editor. So that way it'll be easier for you to access it. Hopefully when I do the silence detection, you know, it doesn't destroy the video. Cause you know that can happen sometimes so yeah let's just monitor the skyline at this point oh wow the second i said monitor the skyline it looks like lightning loves it when i say certain phrases saying i should watch the sky or something like that i don't know lightning must like that so let's monitor the skyline again let's see what happens all right let's watch there's thunder so any second now lightning yep wow what did i say what did i say Lightning any second now and it occurs. Cool. All right, let me put this up on a time lapse for a little bit. It's crazy how I started recording that at literally the second that thunder started going off. You know, at this point, lightning's like firework show at this point. I'm like, yeah, 4th of July firework shows were all pretty badly ruined by rain it's like 2021 i feel like that was crazy so i feel like recently there's just been 2021's fireworks show 
was okay, but there was a lot of lightning during the most part of it. By the time we reached the second part of the show, it was cut short due to lightning. And then by the time we left the fireworks show region, yeah, guess what happened? You would have never guessed. It started pouring rain and we got like two inches of rain. 2022's, I believe, was canceled because of drought. And this year was canceled due to heavy rain. Just so happened it was similar. Like, there was lightning at the end of the show. And then it got pretty bad really quickly after that. So yeah, it happened that on the first show. Actually happened in 2021. Actually, that show was like Ju July like 15th or something like that. It was so late because we were getting daily thunderstorms back then. We were starting to get some daily thunderstorms over here too, but not as consistent. It's crazy though. Like yeah, over here starting to turn into a train wreck. You can't really see it. But over here starting to look like after that 2021 storm on July, holy, I want to say it was like 19th or 26th. It was one of those two days. We got like eight inches of rain, two hours. I think I've talked about this a lot. U-shaped storm. It was crazy. It was downright bad. And the video is 20, a thunderstorm chase is 26 minutes long for a two hour storm. I genuinely covered like one eighth of the entire storm in a video. Oh, those fireflies aren't going to be doing that good when they find out that, that exists. You know, the lightning, of course. Fireflies won't really like it after that. Like, yeah, fireflies have been really underwhelming this year, man. They came out so late, probably because the entire month of May was a frost fest. Because, you know, winter's been trying to redeem itself. Like at this point, I wouldn't even be that surprised if I wake up tomorrow and there's like 67 inches of snow on the ground. Like at this point, there's not, there's a really good possibility that's gonna happen. Because like, yeah, this winter was pretty bad, but winter decided to start late. And like after that one February storm, winter storms just began later for some dumb reason. After that, we got all the snow, all the cold weather, the temperature flips. Not a lot of snow, just temperature flips. We had a deep freeze in May, and we had a frost advisory for a short period of time in early June. I don't know if we hit a record low, but the month of June was just downright bad. Like, yeah, the first two days were like 89, 90 degrees, but then after that, pretty bad. The only time this year we've hit 90 degrees was back in April. April, I believe like 13th, 14th, something like that. I don't know, that was crazy flash. I like that. Yeah, you know what, lightning? Show, show yourself again, show yourself again, I don't care. Keep it a distance, you know. If you're gonna strike a tree, strike it away from me. So yeah, it's cool content. Then I can post it into a clickbait short that gets 2.6 thousand views. And also, I could, and also I could do a lot of other cool things with that too. Like, you know, put it as the thumbnail of this video and get like, and get like 69,000 views and 420,000 likes. It'd be really cool if that would happen. But we all know that's not gonna happen. And if it does, best believe I'll be filming that. And best believe that will be the end of the video, because if lightning strikes that close, then I've already achieved what I wanted to achieve with the video. Like, I didn't even go into this video. Like, I went into this video expecting just a flop, a failure of a video. But now it's starting to look up. I'll be having to watch this strike, and this is where all the strikes are coming from. I haven't seen a strike from the west for a while at this point. Like, actually, it's crazy. Oh, right, let's watch this sky. Let's watch it crazy. Well, it's been like three clips over three minutes at this point. Like, this video is going to be at least 15 minutes long, I bet. Yeah, no 1080p 60 for you, unfortunately. 10, your access to 1080p 60 has been reverted, unfortunately. So then, at the very best, 720p 48. So let's watch this. Let's see, is there anything cool I can film up here? Anything that I can make into a clickbait YouTube short? You know, something cool like that? Something I can make into a clickbait short with a clickbait thumbnail on a long video? Something thumbnail worthy. Give me something thumbnail worthy, you know? I want to see the lightning give me something thumbnail worthy. Right about now. Let's do it. Let's do a little bit of a countdown. Three, two, one. Give me something thumbnail worthy, bro. Come on. Thumbnail worthy lightning strike. Now. Alright, well, lightning doesn't like me now. It's saying, go away. I don't care about you. I don't want to be in your cringy eye YouTube video. Oh, thumbnail worthy, bro? What? That was actually kind of thumbnail worthy. <laughs> Well, it looks like I'm going to be making a lot of clickbait YouTube shorts and getting 26,000 views combined across like 26,000 different YouTube shorts because each of them gets like one view each. Oh, and my sandal just came off. Let's go. 
Yeah, that's what I brought to the storm chasing thing over here. Storm chasing function. I brought some slides. <laughs> that's the best gear I got is some slides. Because best believe they're the things I can afford to get wet. Not my shoes. I have to wear socks in them. It sucks. It sucks, okay? Wearing sock, wearing wet socks and shoes, it sucks. Let's see, can I get another clickbait YouTube short worthy lightning strike? I want something that doesn't, you know, get like absolutely clowned upon. Like, oh my god, that's a very cool lightning strike. So cool, I can just fall asleep. Yeah. I want something cool. I want something cool. Like right about now. Give me something cool in the next like, you know, five seconds. Let's do a little bit of countdown again. Five, four, three, two, one, now. Lightning, you don't like me? Oh, I see. I'm like, I don't want to be in another clickbait YouTube video, bro. Another clickbait YouTube short, bro? I don't want to be in those. I, I hate those. Those, dis those I despise. But do you want to know what I don't despise? You clicking your like and subscribe on this video if somehow, some way, I managed to somewhat convey the editing in a way that makes you want to watch for a good portion of this video. I doubt it, but you know, that's a possibility because you know how editing works and viewer retention works. It already dropped off, like at this point, thumbnail. Hey, we got a thumbnail. We got a thumbnail, two of them actually. So if one of them flops, I can save the video with like another one. Oh, that's cool. Alright, so I basically antagonized the lightning to create me two thumbnail worthy shots. So yeah. At this point I'm gonna have a hell of a long time editing this. Like at this point this video is like 25 minutes long. I don't think I've done a video this long in like a long time. I think the last time I made a storm chasing video this long was 2021. Yeah, 2021 crazy that was a 43 minute chase and over exaggerated because i filmed every second of it probably like that storm lasted for what like an hour and i filmed like 80 percent of it no thumbnail shot again so now if both of those thumbnails do absolute trash i can now get a third one you know over exaggerate add the text and everything crazy yeah that's cool i like that i like that a lot actually that'd be really sick to have in a shot like yeah like that'd be cool but at the same time it really wouldn't because like you know yeah it takes a lot to film these videos like actually seriously i'd be i'd be spending a lot of time editing these things cutting them up making sure the transitions are good and also spending a lot of time importing the clips because you know this is this video is gonna be at the very least like 70 gigabytes by the time I export it, so yeah, let's watch the sky, this will be one more lightning strike before I close out the video, and if the video isn't even 50% done, well, looks like we left on a bang for this video, like and subscribe I guess, I'll see you in the next one, at this point this storm's been so repetitive, like yeah, I got four thumbnail shots for this video bro, probably more, so nothing really left to say, but subscribe, like, and if you made it this far in the video, you're cool.